Well, there's a few things I would recommend that physicians know about compounded drugs. The first is that compounded drugs obviously can play a very important role in meeting patients' needs. And that's especially true when there's not an FDA approved drug to meet those needs. And so let me give you an example. If you have a patient who has an allergy to a component of a drug, like a dye in it, and they need the drug without that component so that they don't have an allergic reaction when they take their medication, then a compounded drug makes perfect sense. Uh, another example you often see is if you have you know, a child who can't swallow a pill, and so they need a liquid in order to take their medication. And that's another instance where it's very important to have a compounded drug. However, because the compounded drugs are not FDA approved, they pose certain risks. And I think the, the risks are illustrated by the 2012 crisis involving the fungal meningitis outbreak. And I think probably most physicians are aware of that. Um, but if they're not, I think it's an instructive about what can go wrong and then how serious the consequences can be. So in, in that situation, you had a pharmacy in Massachusetts, New England Compounding Center or NECC, and they shipped contaminated compounded drugs to patients and healthcare providers throughout the country. Unfortunately, the drugs were contaminated with a fungus and then they were injected into patients' spines and joints. More than 750 people in, I think, over 20 states developed fungal in infections from being injected with the drug, and more than 60 people died. Now, in response to that crisis, there was action taken by Congress and by FDA. You know, at the, con at the congressional level, a new law was put into place that created a new type of compounder called an outsourcing facility. And so that's a new entity, well, relatively new, 2013, um, that makes compounded drugs. And they're subject to more requirements than your tr more traditional pharmacy that might compound drugs. Um, for example, they're subject to kind of the same quality standards that an FDA approved drug would be subject to, current, which is called current good manufacturing practice. And so I think it's important to know that physicians have multiple sources of compounded drugs and one was created to try to address that crisis.